Okay, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. I am your host, Maria Dakers, and I have bad news. Yeah, I have bad news. Um, another massive hit for the reggae boys. Ah, uh, Kemar Taxi Lawrence. Oof. Guys, I'm looking for, let's see if I can hit 800 likes on this video. Like target, 800. Let's get to 800 likes. So as soon as you hit the, just as soon as you start the video, just smash that like button. Um, this is very good news. Um, breaking news, actually. This is breaking news, not good news, but breaking news. But um, So Kemar Tax Lawrence won't be able to participate in the Costa Rica game, um, unfortunately, because of um, visa issue. Now, yes, we know they traveled recently, but this visa issue is a part of their visa that is needed for them to participate in the game and enter in, into the country. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the article. As I said, please remember, smash the like button and subscribe to the Military Guna TV. Definitely 800 likes, people. 800 likes. Um, I consistently give you guys news. Um, this one is not good. But definitely news is news and I have to give you guys all the updates of what's happening in the world of football, especially in the world of the reggae boys. Now, Jamaica has 14 casualties to face Costa Rica. 14. <laughs> all right. So, um, so let's get into the article. Let's get um, straight into the article and read the article. So this article was written by, um, it's coming from El Mundo.cr. It's a Costa Rican um, um, published publication. Um, Tigo, they cover all things sports, big, big sports um, journalists. Credible, extremely credible. Really, really credible, guys. So if you're thinking about the credibility, extremely credible. Now let's see how this one goes. It was reported on the 6th of September, which is yesterday, last night, actually in the late hours of the night um as you can see kemar tax lawrence here a total of 14 players will not be able will not be in the duel this wednesday at 7 p.m at the national stadium a dozen of them played in england and the european countries as limitations for people who travel to countries that are under red alert so we already know the 12 players 12 uk players who won't be able to play yes involving the likes of Ravel Mars and such and such we know all those players who won't be play, who won't be able to play but this time around there's two additions to our list in the likes of Kemar Tax Lawrence and Norman Campbell what I'm gonna do I am going to read a bit further so you guys can get a better understanding of what is happening what surrounds the players and what is the difficulty that we are likely to face and if we can pull something out of the bag to get these players to play, it would be really good. Because I know, we all know, especially as reggae, reggae boy fans, that we don't have a backup left back. And it's imperative that we have Kemar Taxi Lawrence to participate in this game. Okay, so let's go. It is it, it um it goes like this. It happened to them on their trip to Mexico, where they lost the two one games, and the same thing happened to them now. That they travel to Costa Rica. So they're in Mexico is red listed and also Costa Rica. Two more of them, in this case, Kemar Lawrence and Norman Campbell, both started against Mexico as published by Tigo Sports. These did not have the visa, have a, have a particular visa to enter national soil according to migration and foreigners so that's their entity um according to the gu guideline for entry visa to the country the jamaican national must apply for a restricted visa which is presented through the consulate of costa rica in the country of origin of that person so that would have that would have been done here in jamaica the consulate of costa rica here in jamaica Okay, where was I? And is requested through the visa commission. Restrict, restricted and shelter, which approves or denies it. However, if the person complies with any of the following exemptions, such as an entry visa to the United States or Canada, or has a legal prominence document 
that allows multiple entries and with a minimum validity of six months in the United States, Canada, Switzerland, England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and countries of European Union, among other exceptions, may dispense with the visa application to Costa Rica. So, as you know, these are the extra documents that they will need if you're coming from these places. So, on Unfortunately, it seems as if um, Norman Campbell and Kemar Tax Lawrence did not have it available. T Kemar Tax Lawrence, as you know, plays in the America, United States, in the MLS. And Norman Campbell, who plays in the what, what, in, in the Euro, in Europe, as they, as they put it as here, the European Union. Now, um, in this case, these players, they did not present any entry visa to Costa Rica or any of the exemptions indicated above. The communication department explained what happened. In this way, Costa Rica will face Jamaica with multiple casualties in a game in which if we do not want to enter a critical state, we must win. And that is what's happening at this point. So people, no Kemar Tux Lawrence, no Norman Campbell. All right, so say we can... Let's say we can do without um, Kemar Tax Lines. Let's say we can do without Kemar Tax Lines. No, no. Let's say we can do without Norman Campbell. Let's, I'm going to put this aside. If we can do without Norman Campbell, because we have a few wingers um, in the likes of Blair Turgot, Juna Flemings. So we have wingers who can fill in the, the gap of Norman Campbell. But left back, no. Is this a case where we're going to see the likes of O'Neill Fisher at left back? Is that the case? So, this now is a big, big blow to the Reggae Boys camp. I honestly believe it's a massive blow to the Reggae Boys camp, which makes everything a bit more difficult on um, Theodore Whitmore. For some reason, there's always mitigating factors. Whenever we're going to play, I... I, I, I I don't even know how to explain it, but there's just always something wrong when we are going to play. Why? Why is it that it's always us? No, we're going to lose a critical, a critical player, a critical player against Costa Rica. If the JFF can put this together and get this, this documentation sorted out in time, we might have him. But another question is, if he's not, he's not denying entrance in Costa Rica, where is he? Is he still in Jamaica? Would he, when, um, would he return back to USA since um, he wouldn't play this game? Just why not return back to the USA? We don't know. But those are questions which are needed, needed, needed answers from. But at, at this point, that's what's happening. And another hiccup in the Reggae Boys um, World Cup qualifiers campaign in which we always get for some reason. I don't know why. But so people, um guys, as I said, um the like target is 800 I would really appreciate it, guys. If you smash it to that 800 like target, I don't know if I can make it, but let's see. Let's see if we could break that record and bring it to um I've never done an uploaded video and the like it's uh 800 I've never done that. Let's see if I can do that. Um, people, tell me what you think about it. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are about this situation. No Kemar Tax Lawrence. No Norman Campbell for the game against Costa Rica. Massive blow, I believe. Personally, I think that's a massive blow. We have no left-back substitution. Yes, and since night, last night, we were doing the pre player um, preview for the Costa Rica game. And Cataract brought up the name Greg Lee. Would have been an option right now. But anyways, people, thank you very much for tuning in. Military Guna TV, like, share, and subscribe.